Okay, this is how I'm getting rid of these gypsy moths. Just watch this. Take a look what I got in here. There. I probably got about 300, two or 300 in there. So it works really good on small trees where you can get up with a step ladder. Then you just throw them in the water. Hope that helps you out. Okay, this is another little trick and I don't have one on my back right now. But anyways, you use duct tuck tape that they use for building. It works really good. And then I just do the stick and I just go like that. They don't like, they, they won't go across the tuck tape. So every once in a while I come out, obliterate them. It's a, it's a, it's a battle. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, here's another thing. You don't have to just check the trees, but I find I get a lot on sheds. See, there's one, two. And it's very easy to do. They like to get under the eaves. I imagine that's where they're going to put their cocoons. There's a one. And then I just right here, I got this little plastic uh, stick here that works really good. You just give them a little top and that's the end of that. And around here, it's just as thin. Anyways, take a look at your garden sheds. What? What about the stick? Oh yeah, make sure when you're using the stick, I just got told, you want to tape it so you know which handle, you don't want to grab that in. <laughs> okay, so I put orange tape on this end. This is the handle. Okay. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit more about this tape. I've tried different things. This is duct tape turned around. And it works pretty good. It'll stop them. There's some right there. And then I just scrape them off the tree with this stick, my fat, famous stick. Tuck tape works okay, but as you can see, their bodies start to pile up and then the tape runs out. But the best is a line of grease around the tape. They won't go over the tape, or they won't go over the grease. It's, it's just axle grease from a grease gun. Now, this this stops them. This is okay, but they start to get it dirty and then they won't stick anymore. See this one right here? There's one right there. You just go, Kitch. that's the end of him. That's all from the insides of the bug. The bacon grease didn't work that good. There's another one crawling up, but he won't go up that far. He can, he's got to stop. And that's where I get him. This is the best, the grease. Run a rear grease around your tree and they won't go past it. And it doesn't melt. I, I tried uh, I, uh, just uh, bacon grease and it, it starts to melt with the heat. Run your grease around like that and you, you'll be all right. But you have to come out like all the time and, and kill them off, okay? Hope that helps you out any. See you later. Okay, here's another little trick I did. I got this long pole here, and it works really good. It's light, it's aluminum, and I put a little extension, plastic extension on it. So if you look up the tree there, you're going to see a bunch of them right there. And they're starting to go into larvae stage. So you just take them out. And just kind of scratch around and eventually you'll get them and it's a little safer you don't have to go up a ladder there they're all gone there it looks like there's some more yeah right here see and then they'll fall on the ground and you can do whatever you want with them after that step on them or 
whatever. And there's some more. And this gotta be, I'm out here about every hour or so. I don't know whether I'm getting anywhere, but at least I feel better about it. There. So, you know, it's just other ideas I've got. And this, this works good on the side of your house too. If you want to come over here on the side of the house, walk over here. You can see they're right up here. They're going to get up under that eave eventually. It's just a simple matter. Waving them out. There's another one right here. Yeah. Lots of little guys here. It's, it's easy to do this way. No ladders or nothing. Now eventually they're trying to get up from the top of that house and, and I'll uh, I'll have to get on a ladder and use the pole. But I'm waiting to do that later. Hope that helps you out. It seems to be working for me. Thanks. Okay, I've tried the brand sack wrapped around the tree and it works good. It'll work okay if you don't monitor your trees all the time. And uh, I monitor them all the time. So anytime I, I just lift it up here and there's one right here and I just tap it. And there's probably a couple more here and there. But there's another one right there. The brand sack works good if you're if you're only going out once or twice a day. Where I'm out, I'm retired and I got lots nothing else to do. <laughs> there's another one. And there, there's lots of them. But I've cleaned this out about half an hour ago. Okay. So it's uh, I don't, I'm hoping it works. I think it will. Thanks. Okay. And good.